Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I look like a mess. <laughs> so today is a, um, well, not a special day. It's an ordinary day, just like any other day. Uh, existence is pain, etc. Uh, except I have this box. And in this box is something I've wanted for a very, very, very long time. Uh, oh, f why have I plugged in a handheld microphone to do an unboxing video? Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Where do I keep the microphone clips? So, um, people have different hobbies, you know? Um, you've got your car guys, you've got your, your model train guys, you've got your guitar guys. And I would describe myself as kind of a microphone guy. I love microphones, and I have way too many of them. So in this box, uh, I have something that I've wanted for a really long time. Uh, and that's the first Neumann that I've ever bought. Uh, and Neumann is kind of like, um, how would you, how would, how should I put it? Uh, they're sort of like premium microphones in the sort of microphone world. Uh, I used them at university and loved them a lot. Like uh, we used uh, U87s, and just every single time we used them, I was just blown away at how like crisp and detailed and nice they sound. This is not one of those. Neumann don't do cheap microphones, but this is like their lowest, cheapest, uh, like, entry-level Neumann that they do, I think. So, let's open it and have a look. I know I'm going to say what everyone else says, but, you know, for the price of the microphone, you would expect a hard case instead of a box with a bit of foam in it, but whatever. So this little thing is the microphone. This is the expensive little microphone. It's very small. Um, I've seen plenty of reviews of this microphone, and the reviews don't really do it justice. I can see on the display right now that this looks massive compared to how big it actually feels in person. This is a very tiny microphone. I guess I'll try and find things around the house to, like, compare it to. I'll take some pictures of it next to things. This is the size of my microphone. Here's a direct comparison to some things from around my home. I think you'll agree. That is pretty freaking sweet Hashtag epic bro Take a look at the size Size of my microphone Comes in a box like this with a little um A little like mic clip thing Yeah, you, you're just standard thing Screws in like that, holds the microphone It feels like really uh I don't want to say oh it feels really high quality But it's like very solid metal compared to um Like I've got one right here. Uh, this is like, has like a plastic body with like a metal screw bit. This is like all metal. It's really heavy. Um, you know, quality. So what I'm thinking of doing for this video is I'll get a few other microphones out and I'll go upwards in price so that you can, um, you can decide whether you think it's worth it or not. We'll start with the MXL 990 and then we'll move on to a Rode NT2A and then we'll do the Neumann and these like drastically jump up in price I'll put the prices on the screen when I uh, do them and and you can uh, you can decide for yourself whether expensive microphones are worth the price or whether other factors are much more important you know such as your room and your interface and stuff like that uh, so yeah Let's have a look. So this cute little fella is the MXL 990. Um, I've had this microphone for a very long time. It served me very, very, very well. I don't know if you could do much better than this microphone for the price, to be honest. Um, I use this microphone for guitar, and you've probably... If you've been on this channel before, you've heard me use this microphone. I use it all the time for, like, everything. It's um, a good little workhorse microphone. This microphone only costs like 90 pounds. I think I got it for 90 pounds. It's a cardioid microphone, so it kind of picks up sound like this, in this sort of area. And it, and if I, uh, how should I do this? If I move around the microphone, you shouldn't be able to hear me quite as much. It rejects sound from the back and from the sides. So it does a pretty good job of getting rid of keyboard noise behind it and stuff like that. It's just, it's a really good, solid, cheap microphone. Uh, the build quality is surprisingly good as well. Usually microphones in this sort of price range, they feel kind of cheap, but this, like, the body is heavy and feels really solid. Uh, the metal grill is also okay, if not a little bit sort of 
doesn't feel the, the grill doesn't feel as high quality as the body that's all but i mean it's a really surprisingly high quality microphone for the price it even comes with its own little um uh like cradle uh i broke it uh after like i don't know three years of use so i don't know the it's fine it's it, it's a good microphone so now ramping up in price we have the nt2a from rode um this was like my main microphone uh, for a long time. This is, uh, I really like this microphone. It's really versatile, has loads of like little options on the front. I'll put a, a picture of that somewhere. Uh, I think it sounds really good. Has a really like, uh, I guess really neutral sound. By the way, I should probably say that I'm not gonna mess with anything on the computer. No compression, no anything like that. Just raw microphone. I'm not gonna mess about with the gain too much. Um, I'm just gonna, just raw audio from the mics. So this is also a cardioid microphone, so it picks up sound like in this sort of area, but um, and, and it should you know cancel out sound at the back uh, and the sides. Uh, but it has settings for that. You can switch it to um, a few different polar patterns. You can switch it to omnidirectional, so it picks up equally uh, in like a big sphere around the microphone. Uh, or you can set it to like a, uh, a figure eight style, so it picks up from the back and the front and cancels at the side. Maybe you want to do that if you're like doing an interview with someone with this in the middle and uh, you don't want like the side room noise. It's also got a 5 dB and a 10 dB pad and <laughs> it's got some, uh, it's got uh, a low end roll off, which I actually have turned on at the moment. Yeah, I've turned that off now. Now it's... Um, I don't know if you will to hear a difference. Probably depends on what you're listening through, but uh, yeah, there's no pad on it now. This is this is how the microphone sounds. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've used this microphone a lot for like paid voiceover work, uh, all kinds of music projects. Um, it's a good good microphone. Uh, but let's test the big boy. And by big boy, I obviously mean this tiny little baby boy. Um, and I forgot, I probably should have said about the Rode that it is, the build quality is great. It's amazing. Uh, it is just unbelievably heavy though. It is such a heavy microphone. If you want to put it on like a little desk arm or anything, there's just no way. It is so heavy. Um, but it's really solid. So, you know, that's cool. But anyway, this is the Neumann TLM 102. Uh, and I guess you'll have to decide for yourself whether the price is worth it. Uh, because I bought this for 460 pounds. So we have a price jump at the moment of 90 pounds to about 250 pounds to 460 pounds. I did only get this with the like the little clip. Uh, I didn't get it with a, the full shock mount um, because Neumann, I love your microphones. They sound great, but I swear to God, I would rather maintain eye contact with my dad as I gave him a foot rub than spend like 120 pounds on a shock mount. There is just no way, no way. So yeah, with the testing that I've done so far, um, I really like the way this microphone sounds. Uh, it's super crisp, super nice, and also quite bassy as well. And you might be saying to yourself, you know, 460 pounds for a microphone, 550 uh, if you want the bundle with the uh, <laughs> with the shock mount in it. That is just not uh, justifiable for the jumping quality. Now, I don't want to put too much of my personal opinion in it, but I have been like pretty shocked at how great this microphone sounds. I really like it. <laughs> uh, and I, I, I don't regret buying it at all. Hi, so the SD card in my nice camera decided that it, it, it had enough. It couldn't take any more. So I'm really sorry for the sudden drastic jump in camera quality. I'm sure your brain is really confused at the moment because of the, the jumping in camera quality and audio quality. I'm sure it's a lot to handle. Uh, but I only have a couple more things to say. Uh, I wanted to say that the build quality for this microphone is obviously fantastic because it's a Neumann and you can expect quality craftsmanship from them. It's another cardioid microphone, so it picks up sound like so, just like the others do. And by the way, um, I'm recording audio separately into Logic, so the don't 
don't look at the camera quality and think it's having an effect on the microphone. It's not. They're completely separate things. Don't let your brain trick you into seeing bad visuals and then thinking that the audio is also bad. The audio hasn't changed, I promise. It's exactly the same. So yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. I just wanted to kind of talk about a new microphone that I got. Um, I wanted to, to compare it to some other microphones that I have and kind of let you make your own mind up. I'm sorry if you came here looking for more technical like specs, but I, I haven't thrown any like technical stuff on the screen or anything like that. I just wanted to let you use your ears and decide wh like whether price jumps are worth it or whether you start to get like diminishing returns. But yeah, anyway, I should end the video before I keep rambling. Um, it, it, that's all I really wanted to say. Just wanted to show you a microphone. How do you think it sounds? Uh, is it worth the price? You let me know. Uh, I've been pretty impressed with it. Um, so yeah, thank you very, very, very much for watching. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. I've um, I got some music stuff coming. Uh, I know that this kind of like talking sort of review video isn't really my sort of forte, but uh, you know, uh, there's probably more of that to come as well, just because it's, uh, it's fun to make, it's easier to make than spending ages learning songs or writing songs. So yeah, thanks for watching, uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next video. This is the size of my microphone Here's a direct comparison to some things from around my home. I think you'll agree Hashtag Epic Bro Take a look at the size Size of my microphone